Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Now, I know you all think you know CPR back to front. RPC. Thank you, Charge. Uh, as with everything, if we don't use it, we lose it. Now, Bert has very kindly agreed to assist with today's exercise, so I'll be needing some volunteers. It's great to see they're all so keen. Uh, I hate to pull rank. Oh, Swaino. Lead from the front, boys. Lead from the front. Thank you, Charge. Um, I will be needing one more, though. Yes, yes me. me. What do you think, Bert? Mm. Two dads. Yeah. All right. Come on over. Now, in this drill, Charge, you've collapsed. And uh, two dads, you'll be performing CPR on him. Now, just a reminder that CPR begins with two emergency breaths of mouth to mouth before we begin chest compressions. Swain. So, yeah, just a minute, guys. The resuscitator must firstly check that the airway is clear before he places his mouth tightly over the mouth of the patient. Swain. Yes. You said that Bird was going to assist. He did. We all heard you. Yes, yeah, she is. She's going to be timing your compressions. Guys, in the real world, we don't get a choice over whose life we're called upon to save. We have a responsibility to do everything we possibly can, no matter who the person is. But between them. Discharge. Every life is sacred. Hey, I'm not exactly jumping out of my skin, either. All right, enough. And don't you guys worry, you'll all be getting a turn at this later on. Judge, assume the position. Come on, Tudas. Don't forget to check his airway. Any tongue, and you are a dead man. Swain is making two dads do CPR practice on charge. Huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, good one, Swaino. Aren't there hygiene issues with that? <laughs> What's that? Huh? Right ahead, 200 yards. Starboard 30. Starboard 30. It's a shipping hazard. We can't just leave it. Or should we sink it? Not when we don't know its contents. Just bring it down here, Simon. All right. That'll do. Drop it. Nice and slow. All right, all clear. We'll have a look inside, and with any luck, she's full of beer. Oh, oh, that's wrong. Oh, that's... All right, let's contain this mess. We're going to need a clean-up duty. Swine. <laughs> Sir, this isn't barbecue, mate. These, it's, these are organs. They're, they're human organs. We're very interested in your recent gruesome find. We're talking illegal organ trade? Oh, yeah, they think they're being imported from Asia. Well, heading where? Here, the US, Europe, Japan. Mm, it's horrible to think there are people poor and desperate enough to be selling their organs. Men wealthy and desperate enough to buy them. Yeah. Now, the feds think the freezer was in the water for about three weeks, probably lost in cycling to yoga off Popular. That was one hell of a storm. It's a sophisticated unit. They traced its purchase to this man, a Walter Berkelman, an American citizen now. He has disappeared, along with his luxury cruise of the Longview, usually moored out of cans. It's possible the Longview was lost and Mr Berkelman is sleeping with the fishes. Couldn't happen to a nicer bloke. 
But if he did survive, the Feds think he's probably back in Asia organising another shipment. Now, they've just issued a keeper lookout for, but there's no firm intel at this stage. Now, as far as finding a uh, permanent CEO for Hammersley, unfortunately, there are no suitably qualified, unassigned personnel available at the moment. So, as much as I would like to have you back in here, I'm sure you won't be too disappointed to remain CEO for the foreseeable future. She's right. You're not that disappointed, are you? Kate, it's not like she gave me a choice. But do you know how much people are prepared to pay for things like, like a kidney or even like a few feet of bow? Two dads. Thousands. And you don't even need half the stuff you've got. You can function perfectly with one lung, one kidney. Enough. That is off. Even human fat is worth big bucks to the cosmetics industry. You're a walking gold mine, Charge. Have you ever thought about selling your brain? It's not like it's been used. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, what's your next rotation? Uh, Boson's duties with Dutchie. <laughs> well, he will keep you busy. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I hope this week hasn't been too dull for you. No, I've, I've really liked it. And, I mean, I, I love all of this. The medical part of your job. You know, when I leave, I'm hoping to study emergency health. Train as a paramedic. You didn't know that. Yeah, I haven't told many people. Why? It's a great thing to do. Yeah. Except... Except what? You know when we pulled that freezer out of the water? Yeah. It just made me feel sick to my stomach. Me too. I mean, the trade in human organs is just... No. I mean the smell. The smell just turned my stomach. It's, it's not a very good quality for a paramedic, is it? Well, there are a few hardened sailors with their heads hanging over the side. Bomber, well, go get rid of the gash. Yes, ma'am. Bird? Bird. X, is there somewhere you should be right now? Sweet told me to take five. I think that five's up. No, nope, there's still a few more minutes. Go. Yes, X. Can I help you with something, X? Oh, no, no, no. I was, um, I was just, um, you, you, carry on. Sir, Coast Watch has spotted a possible CF in our sector. Thanks, Ray. You look flushed, Dex. It's, uh, it's hot out there. The sun. It, it's a scorcher of a day today. Yeah. Out there. Uh, RO, have you got those coordinates? Coming in now. Do you have a temperature? Well, maybe. Uh, bearing 030, sir, they're only just on our side of the line. Then we intercept them ASAP and send them back home. Port 10, steer 030. Port 10, steer 030, sir. Business class, ma'am. Dutchie, two days. You secure the wheelhouse. We'll take any other crew. Copy that. Oi! You had trouble hearing or something? I asked you to stop your vessel. Why didn't you stop your vessel? We've opened the front, front of the boat. Are you, are you the master of this vessel? Hello? Is anyone here speak any English? Sit down. Hey, ma'am, come forward. Please sit down. We are refugees. We were asylum in Australia. Please help us. 
Here's the master of the vessel, X. Sir, your vessel is illegally in Australian waters. We go. Mera oke. Here in Jaya. Mera oke. Ma'am, the master says that this vessel is headed for Meraki in Irian Jaya? No. We go to Australia. We all go to Australia. We are refugees. OK. So, according to your passengers, they say that you are heading for Australia. No. No. We go. Matter OK. I'm going to hold him here. You stay seated. Sit down, sir. Hey, Swain. Sit. What's the food and water situation on board? It's not very much. Maybe enough for another day, Tops. Please, help us. Okay, now, does anybody here need medical treatment? Um, is, is anyone here sick? No. No. Actually, ma'am, they all look in pretty good health. What's your situation, X? Uh, sir, uh, the crew and the passengers all appear to be in good health. They are critically short on food and water, though, sir. There's also some debate as to where they're heading. What sort of debate? Well, the master says they're heading for Meraki. One of the passengers says they're bound for Australia. Is she seaworthy? Yes, sir, the vessel is seaworthy. Then we have no option. Let's get them resupplied and escort them back into international waters. OK, copy that, sir. X? Yeah. I found this hidden in the wheelhouse along with the master's personal position. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Settle down, pal. We'll be out of here in a minute. Hey, Swain, what do you make of this? Circle. How it reacts gives you the blood type. Takes about five minutes. There is a card in that box for every passenger on that ship, and this is Rehypnol. That's a date rape drug, yeah? When I realised, yes, I went him. I mean, this little girl couldn't be more than five years old. Swain, that is no excuse for assault. When you realise what, Swain? So these people aren't refugees, they're human cattle. What? They're all in good health. They've all been tissue matched. There's probably a buyer already waiting for a kidney or God knows what else. Or you think they're going to sell their organs? No, I think someone intends to steal them. Why would you need Rehypnol if you're a willing participant? And you can't tell me that this little girl gave her consent to be butchered. All right. Ro, you speak some Malay and Bahasa. You in charge, go and talk with them, see what else you can find out. Yes, sir. Carry on, Swain. It is possible that they entered Australian waters unintentionally. Well, on their way to Meraki? Without enough food and water, I suspect Meraki's just a cover. Have another chat with the ship's master. Let him know it's in his best interest to cooperate. Yes, sir. So you did, me, mummy. He says he doesn't understand. Well, he understood well enough on the Siev. Who are you working for? So you did, me, mummy. What was your destination? So perhaps what you don't understand is how much trouble you're in. I'm going to ask you again, what is your destination? Not okay. <laughs> Without any food or water? I don't think so. This man. He's lying, X. Well, that's pretty obvious. You never play poker sport. Say, uh, Tida, my mommy. Oh, you don't understand. Yeah. Oh! Dutchie! Dutchie! Just give me five minutes. No! no. You don't understand that, don't you, stunt Get your hands off him, that's in order. Don't hurt me, I, I will tell you! I thought you might. Too far. I don't think they're in league with the master. They all swear they're refugees, they're just looking for a better life in Australia. Is that your take on it, too? Yes, sir. What they say about the blood tests? Condition of getting on the boat. Yeah, and they got pretty upset when Roe told them that someone had dibs on their kidneys. <laughs> they wouldn't. Explain yourself. He was being a smart ass, and all I did was ruffle his shirt. No, so... Is that what you call it? And if he didn't talk, what then? I guess we'll never know, will we? Hey, I've told you before. Better get these coordinates to the boss. I think it went over their head. Never mind. Sir? Sir, the CF, it wasn't heading for land. It was going to rendezvous with another vessel. Berkelman? Yes. And we found the coordinates. Good work. Row, get me NAVCOM. Sir. 
I take it there's no one on this Sierra capable of navigating it safely back to their home port? No, sir. Not a chance. All right. They might get their chance to claim asylum after all. Swain, you'll lead the stemming party. Who do you want with you? So Bird's got one day left on her rotation with me. Swain, she hasn't had enough experience. It might be a good way for her to get some. Rowan Charge seemed to think that the refugees pose no threat, and there are young women and children on board, so... A female might be helpful. Mm. Get it restocked and refueled ASAP. Yes, sir. I want to keep this rendezvous with Mr Berkelman. Well, I actually come from Melbourne, which is way down, like, the bottom of Australia. Are you m married? Um, no, I'm not married. I just finished school. <laughs> Are you married? Oh, <laughs> no. I found a husband in Australia. All right. Good luck. <laughs> OK. I should get you fed and water till down. Thank you. Hey, Ben. Enjoy the cruise? I will. Okay. Hey, happy hunting. Yeah, fingers crossed. Ciao, amigos. See you back at home, yeah? Will do. Go, Harvey. At this rate, sir, we should be there in just under two hours. Very good. Sir, we will be there well ahead of the CF's rendezvous time with the long view. It'll give us the advantage. We'll sit below the horizon and wait for Mr. Bergelman. Sir, I was thinking that if the long view was damaged in Cyclone Tiago, Bergelman might have a new boat. I agree. Did the master of the CF give you the vessel's name? No, I think we were lucky to even get the coordinates. Come what may, we'll be ready for it. Sorry I couldn't eat dinner. Too seasick. Looks good, but... That was Bird, just after she came on board. I think she thought the comment book was compulsory paperwork. So do you ever take these suggestions on board? Nope. Only one chef on this boat. Comment book really just makes them feel like they're having an input. Hey, that sounds really bad. Do not tell anyone I said that. What's it worth to you? So I was thinking about going for my hook. Leading seaman, that's a good idea. Yeah, I figure if you can get it, how hard can it be? <coughs> I won't bite. And offer to help you prepare for it if you want. Really? You do that for me? Yeah. Maybe next time we get shore leave together, we can spend some time and really go at it, hammer and tongs. The studying, you know, getting up to speed. Yeah, that sounds really good. <coughs> Vessel off my starboard quarter. This is an Australian Navy vessel. Please identify yourself and state your business. Over. Why isn't it responding? Don't know. Vessel off my starboard quarter. This is the Australian Navy. It looks friendly enough. Ahoy, Navy! This is for the Kalinda. We need your help. We've lost our radio. We request permission to come alongside. That would explain it. Sir, boarding parties aren't in standing by. As soon as we detect Berkelman's vessel, we move. It won't take him long to realise what's going on. Hammersley, over. Uh, Hammersley, we have a vessel on approach, the Kalinda, requesting radio assistance. Over. Roger that, Swain. Over. Swain out. They're just coming on board to use our radio. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, what a stroke of luck! Australian Navy be the last people we'd expect to find on a boat like this. We saw you from a distance. Sergio Marelli. Sergio. Good mate. It's What are you doing on my boat? A 
Are they gonna kill us? No. No, no, no. Look, they wouldn't risk it. We'll, we'll be fine, right? Then what are they doing? We took the cards with the blood types. They're just redoing the test, that's all. Okay? Hurry up. It takes as long as it takes. Stopped it. Hey, with those pants! You gotta kill him like that, you know. Are you a doctor? Me? No, no. Just a ship's medic. With a neck wound like that, you need to apply enough pressure to stop the bleeding, but too much like he's doing now. To stop the blood getting to the brain, you'll kill him anyway. Take over. I told you, I'm not a doctor. I, I'm just a medic. Or I'll hurt her. Three, you need to remove pressure, all right? One, two, three. OK, you need to get on the radio, organise a medivac. No. Look, either this guy gets to a hospital or he dies. Hospital treatment we can do. What are you talking about? On my boat. Get a stretcher. A one false move, and I will kill you. By my calculations, if we hadn't intercepted the CF, she'd be at the RV point now. So where's Berkelman? It's unlikely for him to be a no-show. It is human cargo to collect. Agreed. Maybe he's having mechanical problems. Maybe. Receive his life. I told you I'm not a doctor. I don't have the skill for this. I don't care. Just do it. Sergio, get us out of here. And tell Warlow to come down as soon as he's finished loading the cargo. Well, what are you waiting for? Look, I need another pair of hands. I can't need hers. I'll take the pressure off here. He'll bleed out in a minute. I know what you're thinking. As soon as you're both unfettered, you'll take a chance and try something. You saw what a shotgun can do at close range. Be stupid, and you will die. Let me listen carefully. I need you to find some fluids, okay? Some, some blood serum or some hartmans. I need you to set up a drip, and I need you to cannulate him. I'll, I'll talk you through it, all right? You'll be fine. It's going to be okay. Swain, this is Hammond's Lee. Sit right over. Swain, this is Hammersley. Sit rep over. Swain, this is Hammersley. Sit rep over. Sir, I'm having trouble reaching Swain and Bird for their scheduled check-in. When did they last check in? It was about an hour ago, 13.15. They were offering assistance to a passing vessel that Kalinda was having radio problems. I plot a course to their estimated position, sir. Good, X. Nothing's happening here. The coordinates must have been bogus. Bro, keep trying to contact Swain. Sir. And find out anything you can on this calendar. Sir. Is there any Hartmans? No. The man's blood pressure is dropping. He needs fluids. I just pay for the stuff. I don't stock the cupboard. No blood serum, no fluids, lit on the way of resuscitation equipment. I haven't seen any anaesthetic. It's more like an abattoir than a hospital. And what do you do? Just drug them, kill them, and then harvest their organs? There's a guy in Tokyo in the final stages of renal failure. He probably has a few days to live. There's a little girl in Tel Aviv, her parents sitting by her bedside watching her slowly die. There's a guy in New York, the head of a major financial institution. Oh, despicable human being. Now, you may see me as an angel of death, but others see me as a life giver. The truth is, I am just a businessman, supply and demand. If people weren't prepared to pay, we wouldn't be here. But plenty of people are prepared to pay. Now, the brutal reality is not all men are created equal. 
that our lives are worth the same. Yeah, well, none of that is going to save him. Now, you got all this set up. There must be someone on board with medical training. Of course. Where the hell is he? Now, Dr. Sangster is a valued employee. So keep him alive. I need you to put pressure on his neck. Where am I? Okay, count three. One, two, three. Not too hard. Okay. All right. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fluids. All right. We got work to do. So get cleaned up. What? Well, you're the doctor now. Listen, if you think for one second that I'm going to help you in this. You have <laughs> no idea who you're dealing with. I am already behind schedule because of the last shipment. How many innocent people died for that? Listen, some of my customers can wait until we find somebody to take his place, but one can't. The guy in Tokyo is a powerful Yakuza boss. Now, there is already a plane on its way to collect a matching kidney. If that kidney is not delivered on time, the consequences do not bear thinking about. So if you and your little bird want to stay alive, you got to do what I say. Killing us is not going to solve your problem, is it? True. So, uh, I'll just kill her. Slowly and painfully in front of you. That's why this is Hammersley. Sit rep over. Emersley, Mike Flynn. Mike, Max, we've just had some intel on Berkelman. The Longview was badly damaged in Cyclone Tiago, but he has acquired and refurbished a new vessel, an old wooden cruiser. The Kalinda. How did you know? I was hoping I was wrong. He somehow managed to locate and intercept the CF. I'm missing two crew members who were on board. We're heading for their last known position now. OK, send us those coordinates. We'll use everything we have here. Keep me informed. I attached the photos. Good. Well, seems we're in luck. Looks like Dr. Sanks had completed one task before his demise. One of the cargo is a compatible B-negative donor. Well, seems your moral dilemma is solved, my friend. No one else needs to die today. Go fetch the body. And you better scrub up. You don't want to contaminate the product. Sir, there's uh, evidence here of gunfire. And there's a lot of blood on the deck. Someone's put up a fight here. Hicks. So we've got some dog tags here. They're birds. They're birds. Must have had a tracking device on board. Should have known. Don't blame yourself. Let's just find our sailors. Dex, is there any indication on board as to where the Kalinda might have gone? Over. And that's a negative, sir. Ma'am, there should be a tracking device on board. Uh, it'll be about the size of a mobile phone, and it'll be high up on the canopy somewhere. Over. Lied to us. Big mistake. Sit. Sit down. Mr. Petra. 
I'm going to update you on your situation. Please stop me at any time if you don't understand. And before, we only had circumstantial evidence linking you to the illegal organ trade. Then, as I have no doubt you were aware, the most likely outcome would be you being charged with some immigration offences, spending a short time in prison, and then being deported to your country of residence. Sir, that has changed. This transmitter was found on your vessel. So we now have hard evidence of your involvement. So unless you cooperate fully and tell us where Mr. Berkemon is heading, you will spend the rest of your life in prison. Your wife and children. You'll never see them again. Your children will grow up not knowing their father. So you will be a forgotten man. Will be like you never existed. I don't know, wait a minute. I swear I don't. That is a real shame. Thought you had him. Wait! I will tell you. Please. Why would Berkman go to all the trouble of putting them onto a sieve, then onto his own boat, then a seaplane? But he doesn't. Only the organs go onto the plane. They're harvested on his boat, he's got it all set up, and then the bodies are weighted down and disposed of at sea. Oh, they're butchers. It's horrible. We need to get to that position fast. Tell Rhoda to get me NAVCON. Yes, sir. And Kate, well done. Let's get started. I just want to say one more time, okay? I don't have the training for this. Well, then maybe I should just kill you both and hack it out with a chainsaw. Wayne. Were you prepared to give it a go? Sure. Good. Okay. It's not going to work. Wrong answer. No, no, no. They're not viable. The, the kidneys aren't viable. What? They're not viable. The shotgun blast ended at the back under the rib and spread. They're damaged. They're both damaged. They're not viable. I said, check the doctor. Wait, it's no match. Where are they? What? Dog tags. I don't know. Why? Blood type. Test her. What? I can't remember my, my blood type. Do you? No. Being negative isn't very common, is it? No. Chances are that I won't You be. won't be a match. You should talk it too much this one, yeah. Then what happens? I don't know. If he doesn't need us, why will he keep us alive? No, please, don't tell me it's going to be OK. They'll be looking for us. It's just a matter of time. We're running out of time. Basta, basta! Enough talk. Sit down. Quick! Sit down. It's time. Oh, negative. OK, so that rules me out. What? <sighs> Tell her. A negative is the only blood type that's compatible with all the others. Universal donor. Now, this is where you get to say, not in a million years will you operate on your pretty young friend, and where I once again point out the obvious. You have no choice if you want to live. Put her on the table. No! 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 There is no anesthetic, there is no ventilator. I am not a doctor. I don't know what I'm doing. There are Wait. books. Books. Sangster was nothing more than a talented GP. His patients were dead. You're getting hung up on the details. As for anesthetic, there's chloroform. Sweet. Sit us 
Signorina Bonasera. Your choice. Sweet dreams. Get an ETA on the plane. Not now. It's the plane. The pilot wants to talk to you. And tell him it's not, it's not a good time. I did, but he insisted. One false move, kill him, but under no circumstances damage her. You're doing very well, my friend. I'll see you in a minute. do anything until it's sorted out. What? Her, her bra strap, it's, it's pulling her skin too tight and, and uh, I need one of you to remove it. <laughs> you remove it. Okay. Time is an issue. Just scrubbing all over again. All right, all right, stop. Stop, I do it. One-handed, no problem. Bearing 190, range 10 nautical miles. It's avoiding its approach, it's turning away. Looks like Berkelman just lost his ride. Get down, get down, face down on the wheel! Get down! Hands behind your back. Look after this. Jessica. Jess, Jess, wake up. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, hey. No, 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 no. it's not your blood. It's not your blood. It's not your blood. It's OK. It's all right. It's OK. So Berkelman and his crew are under guard down in Ostia and the refugees are being tended to on the boat deck. Very good. And Bird? She's resting comfortably. Swain's going to keep her in the wardroom overnight for observation. I'll stop by and see her in a minute. I'm impressed. She handled the situation very well. Hmm. Anything else? OK. No, that's all. Good night. Good night, ma'am. Good night. Oh, ma'am. 
Just wanted to say what a good job Abel Seaman Brown's been doing. Just thought as her divisional officer, you should know. Thank you, two dads. Good night. Good night. She asleep? Yeah. Looks peaceful. Yeah, she does. For when she wakes up. Passed on your request for counselling to be made available to the refugees. And her. Uh, and for you? I'm fine. It's her. I'm married to Swain. I'm fine. Thank you, but I'm fine. Okay. If you change your mind.